Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're interested in seeing what I made for this week, then just keep on watching. Okay, so my coworker called me and he let me know that a company in his building was throwing out a canvas and I figured why not go pick it up. As you guys can see, it's still in pretty good condition. It still has the hook on it, but I don't like the look of it. So I'll be taking it outside soon to spray paint it. Next, I'm taking these wood pieces and I'm gluing them together with my wood glue. This will be a part of the cap to my perfume bottle. Now I got this Apple Magic Mouse Box, which I'm gonna glue this together with my hot glue and also my E6000 glue, which this is a part of the cap to my perfume bottle as well. I'm using this white gloss spray paint to fully cover my canvas before covering it with a different color. So I basically use the white spray paint for primer to get it ready for this French lilac satin spray paint. So that way the purple can come out the way I wanted it to. This DIY was actually inspired by one of my favorite perfumes, which is actually Chanel Chance. But when I went to Home Depot, they didn't have any pink spray paint. So I went with I thought was the next best color of choice, which is purple. So this is what my canvas is looking like now that everything is dry. So I'm about to glue the cap on with my E6000 glue and my hot glue. Now I didn't measure anything. I'm kind of going off of the hook that is on the back of this canvas since it is directly in the middle. I did use extra glue around the cap and also added the beaded necklaces. So now I'm taking my container, my podge, silver glitter, silver glitter glue, and also purple glitter. And I'm creating a mixture and I'm gonna put this mixture over my entire perfume bottle to give it a little bit more definition.
I'm using these mirror tiles to spell the word Chanel across my canvas. And I also have a ruler just for guidance to keep the word as straight as possible. Okay, so these mirror tiles are self-adhesive, but they really don't stick that well. So that's why I am using a little bit of E6000 glue so they can stick a little better. Since I didn't have any Chanel stencils to create this Chanel logo sign, I simply used my foam brush and also the leftover mixture that I had and I just basically drew the logo sign onto my canvas. And now you see me using my E6000 glue along with my crystal gems and I'm just putting the gems around the perimeter of my sign. Once I was done gluing all my gems down, I removed any excess glue strings, cleaned my mirror tiles off, then I had something that looked like this. I hope y'all enjoyed this week's project. If so, be sure to like, comment, and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video.